For the Newton's Law of Gravitation notes, I um, start out telling students that there is a connection between Newton's Law of Gravitation and Coulomb's Law, and that's why we're learning these together. And so um, we go through the first one, and so we say... Um, we're looking at the relationship between gravitational force and the distance. Um, and so I draw this, pic this picture up here and I ask them um, to talk to their partner and figure out which situation A or B will have a greater gravitational force between the Earth and the Moon. So um, they talk to their partner and we figure out that the gravitational force is going to be stronger in A because they're closer together. And that matches what we see in Coulomb's Law, so that gravitational force and the distance are inversely pr proportional. Then I um, draw this picture and I tell them um, that we're talking about gravitational force and uh, mass and so I give them two situations the earth and the moon and the earth and the sun are the same distance um, apart and I tell them this would never happen um, but if it were to happen which one would have a greater gravitational force and so they talk to their partner and they figure out that in B it's going to be greater because there's greater mass so force and mass are directly proportional so Knowing these different relationships, I ask them, what is my equation going to look like? And so they tell me, since force and mass are directly proportional, the masses will be on top. And since um, force and distance are inversely proportional, then distance or the radius is going to be on the bottom. Then I ask them to think about Coulomb's Law and think, what is different, what is missing here that we have in Coulomb's Law? And they tell me it's that k, that constant. And so um, I put that constant in, and then I ask them if they think we would use the same constant as we did in Coulomb's Law. And they come up with that it wouldn't be the same because we're going to have different units for it. So we go through, we rearrange the equations, and I tell them that I will be providing them with those equations for the um, any problems that they were going to do on the quiz. Then we go through three different problems. I do the first problem with them, um, go through, I circle all of the important things, and then I plug them in. Uh, these purple parentheses, those are the parentheses that I make sure to point out that if you don't put these parentheses, if you, if you enter this in without parentheses, it's going to give you the wrong answer on your calculator. And so I emphasize that you need to put these parentheses on the on the top of your fraction when they're multiplied together and on your bottom so that you're able to get the correct answer. So I overemphasize this by drawing those extra parentheses in purple even though it may seem weird to have two parentheses in the front. Um, I do that to help them see that. And so then I have them do two and three on their own check and then we check their answers with what's up on the board and um, we go from there into some practice problems.